Good evening, and thank you for joining us, Carly. That story that you just mentioned in the headline there, obviously uh, we've been talking about it for weeks now, literally, but it, we've come down to it. This could be the last game. Yeah, that's right. It really could be. It could be the team's last game of the season, and more importantly, with that deadline approaching on Friday, it's hard to believe that's March the 4th already. So unless we have um, you know, another competitive offer made to the city, the Bobcats could not only be playing their final game at the Civic Center, but they could be moving out of town before we know it. Well, let's hope they get some support there tonight mm -hmm. anyways, for, for sure. sure. Gerard, uh, for anyone going out tonight, uh, pretty nasty day out there, definitely. Yeah, it's been like that definitely, guys, and looks like it's going to be chilly again tonight, even though your thermometer will be seeing one thing, that <laughs> wind chill is going to be doing us mm -hmm. in. So go out to the game, support the Bobcats, make sure that you're well layered on. Let's look at it right about now, please, because the wind chill is already at minus 36, and it's been in the late 30s all day, even though your thermometer is seeing minus 23. That's today's high. We got there at 3 o'clock, and we're still hovering at that, so that's probably the only redeeming factor about it. The winds be uh, out of the north at 26 kilometers per hour, and as we look across, well, just those overcast conditions, some more snow on the way in the Lakeland region. We've got some more snow on the way well tonight night too, but the wind chill is the critical factor that we've got to look out for there, Jacob. Meantime, it's back to you. The production crew of a major Hollywood movie being shot in Provost, Alberta, are looking for some additional extras. The movie is entitled Barlow Man, written, produced, directed by and starring Corbin Burnson. It's about one young boy's journey to find his own faith. The movie starts shooting this week, and extras are needed for a few different crowd scenes. One of the scenes will be a celebration in honor of a new rec center opening, and the other will be for the congregation at church during a sermon. Anyone interested and available to be in Provost can send their contact information to barlowman at gmail.com. The lives of two local families will change for the better as they team up with Habitat for Humanity to break ground for their new home. Future homeowners and many volunteers and builders will come together to erect a duplex on the Saskatchewan side of Lloydminster, scheduled for the spring of this year. Kathy Lee explains what the new home will mean for the families. Lyndon Mitchell never thought the day would come when he would be a homeowner. In our, in our current situation, probably not, to be perfectly honest. Um, basically, we're, yeah, we're really low income and... Um, with having three kids, we have, yeah, we haven't had much of an opportunity to put money aside to even think about getting a home. His two-bedroom apartment is not an ideal place for his wife and three kids. There's uh, no fence in the backyard, so, so yeah, we live on a busy street, so the kids don't get a chance to go outside and play. Mitchell's current situation is shared by another family. We live in three-bedroom apartment, six children in one washroom. It's very crowded. It's not enough to us, but we still live in it because we, we can't buy the house. Today, both met to celebrate the new duplex they'll be building and moving into come spring. I'm very emotional. Um, very, very emotional. Um, exciting too. I'm feeling very happy. I'm excited to have a comfortable um, bedrooms and two washrooms and it's enough for my kids. It's a very touching thing to see volunteers working side by side with the homeowners and uh, forming those friendships and bonds that uh, can last forever. In addition to volunteer work, the families must put in 500 hours of sweat equity. I feel really privileged to actually be part of the building process um, because you don't get a, not too many people get an opportunity to actually build their own home. Project is possible through donations, government grants, and volunteers. <laughs> We already have a good uh, database of volunteers from our past builds, but uh, more people are needed every time and uh, no volunteer would ever be turned away. We would find something for everybody to do. This will be the seventh home built by Habitat for Humanity in the border city and they hope to expand in the future. Kathy Lee, Newcap News. Final touches are being made on renovations to the Lloydminster Exhibition Grounds. Not only did they renovate the old facilities, they also expanded significantly to include more banquet rooms to accommodate more functions. Jenna Bridges took a tour of the new facilities and has more. The Lloydminster Rotary Club took a field trip away from their regular Monday meetings to check out the renos to the Lloyd Exhibition Grounds. As more events come in that we haven't had before, we're going to draw a larger crowd from the surrounding areas. We're hearing just nothing but positive comments about how it feels when you get in the rooms, how it looks when you drive up to the area. So that alone is, is just a huge asset and huge improvement for us. On top of the improvements to the existing facility, the Lloydminster Exhibition Agricultural Society also expanded to include new banquet rooms, new washrooms and a brand new entrance as a focal point for the building. We've still maintained our agriculture identity, 
which is very important to us, and as well as, but it's, an, it's a very attractive and appealing expansion and entrance system to this whole complex. An added bonus is that all of the buildings are now connected, so anything from craft shows, oil conventions, and any social events can take place under one roof. What I liked about it probably was the connection, how everything is connected inside so you can go from one building to another without having to go outside. The six-year renovation and expansion came with a hefty price tag of nearly $10 million, much of which came from help from the federal and Alberta governments. Without their support from both the government of Alberta and the government of Canada, it would have been challenging to have this renovation expansion done to the how it looks today. The project is around 95% finished with the final touches to be completed to the exterior come spring. Jenna Bridges, New Cap News. Well, Cutter veteran or not, hundreds of people gathered on the Lloyd X Ground Saturday for the 8th annual Cutter Rally for Cancer fundraiser. Made up of four organizations, the proceeds from the event are split between the Canadian Cancer Society and the local regional health foundation. Kathy Lee has the details. With mild temperatures on our side, many locals and travelers from across the country came out for a sleigh ride today. Because it's really fun and you just have a good time. It's an event that offers many ways for everyone to participate. There's Teamsters, so they have their own, own sleigh. Um, some people come with them, which they call participants. Uh, we have ride-alongs, so at 1 o'clock, you know, um, uh, the day of, there is, uh, there is designated sleighs to take people out. Berard has seen a great response from the community. From the first year that when we raised uh, under 3,000 to, you know, over 18,000 last year, it's come a long ways. The inspiration for the event stemmed from an organization member who was diagnosed with cancer. We just uh, do because uh, we all are fighting the same thing uh, and have relatives that's involved with cancer and stuff, so we just keep trying. And to keep the funds coming in, they put on an event to encourage more donations. Just to go out and maybe donate is, is tough to do, but sometimes when you can do it and have a little bit of fun, maybe it entices people to, you know, to donate a little bit more. It's for the fun of it, and, uh, and another thing is uh, once they hear what we're, what we're supporting, or, you know, uh, I think that uh, that would encourage people. The Cutter Rally combines a poker game, and the team with the highest tallies from the five checkpoints will win a brand new sleigh. Kathy Lee, New Cap News.